Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, fitness management and consulting. And what I want to talk about today is one of the more, um, I don't know if I'd call it a popular topic, but it's certainly something that we're getting inquiries on on a pr pretty regular basis. And uh, it's about you know facilities and gyms that are in a position that they have to close. You know, whether it's the you know, financial, whether it's issues with landlord, whether it's you know, maybe the owner is, is tired of being tired, uh, but they're, they're looking to close. And, you know, I was struck by an article recently that uh, came out, uh, it was on Bloomberg.com. Uh, you can find this article and it's titled, you know, Fitness Clubs Facing $10 Billion Revenue Hit as Members Flee. And they talk in this article uh, about there being, you know, about 38,000 uh, locations throughout the U.S. and I don't think that includes all the boutiques and some of the others. I think that's more of your probably standard gym. Um, and they're estimating of this 38,000 that about a third of them have a high probability of closing. And so these are some staggering numbers and you know for you folks that you know are that small business person that you depend on this for your livelihood, I mean this is pretty serious stuff. And like I mentioned in, in, in previous videos, you know, we do get a fair amount of inquiries pretty much on a regular basis right now of clubs being in this position. And what I want to talk to you about is if you're in this position where you, you need to close, it needs to happen, and it doesn't really matter what the reason, you know, let's find a, let's find a good way out. You know, in some cases, a little quick sidebar, you know, actually I spoke to a group the other day and they were thinking, well, hey, they may need to get out. And... We just got to talking a bit, and time we got done, you know, she said, "Well, heck, you know, after this conversation, you know, maybe I do want to continue. Maybe there is a way to figure it out." So, you know, sometimes, you know, as owners, you know, it's e very easy to get isolated. Um, all you hear is the negative. You don't hear really what the opportunities are. Sometimes, so you know, if you want to talk about that, I'm certainly happy to to do that. You can actually click the link below. Uh, and get a free strategy session, it's no cost, no obligation. And uh, you know, happy to talk about a bit about what your options could be. But if you have decided, yeah, now's the time. Um, first of all, you know, your equipment, uh, you can liquidate your equipment. This, these are things that, that, that I do you know, on a regular basis. We work with wholesalers on this. And you know, if your equipment is, you know, say it's five years uh, of age or less, and it's in pretty good shape, you know, there's a decent chance that, you know, a wholesaler would uh, acquire that equipment. You know, they'd come out, they'd pick it up, they'd extract it, you'd get your money. And uh, you can get that building emptied, at least, and not be stressed over what's going to happen with that. If that equipment's a little bit older, uh, or it's not in good condition, uh, you may have to look at, you know, maybe selling it to members or, you know, putting it on Craigslist and kind of parting it out. Uh, you could even consider donating it to a church or school or you know something of that nature, but there will be some value there. Uh, again, it's not you know it's wholesale numbers is is generally what you're looking at. Uh, if you have the time and patience and desire to do it, you can probably part it out and get a little more money for it. You know the other thing that's available if you're looking to close and shut down is instead of just you know ceasing operations, you know you've got a member base right there. And that member base, you know, can be sold, you know, to other clubs in your area. And typically when these things are done, you know, it could be, hey, if, all, you know, Club X, you know, they say, hey, look, we'll honor those members. And, you know, depending on, you know, where it's at and what the circumstances are, you know, you could expect to receive anywhere from, say, 20% to maybe as much as 50% of that ongoing dues. And typically how it works is you would simply enter into an agreement. Uh, if you need help with that, again, hit the strategy button below. We can get you an agreement. Um, you, would, you would enter into an agreement with your billing company, uh, the club that's going to honor your members, and, uh, and then yourself, simply saying, hey, here's what our agreement is. Your billing company will continue to collect, and they will disperse the funds based on that agreement. So if it's agreed to be, say, a 50-50 split, say you did something like that, every, all the money is collected, the honoring club gets half and you get half. Uh, you know, in addition to that, uh, you know, the honoring club, you know, typically they're going to get all your renewal list. Um, you're, maybe you're going to point your website URL over to them. Um, you're going to point your phone number over to them. 
Uh, if you're maintaining you know, guest registers, you're maintaining telephone inquiry log sheets, if you have an email, email database, you know, all of this is going to be part of that. So the acquiring club can actually acquire um, you know, pretty nice little set of assets right there. And for them, there's no cash out of pocket. And actually for you, uh, for the, the club that's closing, in some cases, you know, if you're going from a situation where you've been losing money, if, if you're in a position now where all this is being liquidated and it's all going away, you can actually have a nice steady flow of income for, you know, 12, 13, 15 months, you know, depending on, um, you know, how your members have signed up and, you know, their happiness with the location that they're going to. And you might even find in some cases, we've found this in a few already, that, you know, maybe that club might, they might be a candidate, you know, to take some of your equipment. They might need some of it. So that could be a resource right there. And they might look at it and likely would a little different uh, than what a wholesaler would. So that could be an opportunity. And we've actually had some situations whereby, uh, you know, the, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to move the equipment. We're trying to, you know, sell assets. And we've had some say, well, heck, I wouldn't mind maybe taking over that lease and maybe I'll use that location. So you've got some options there. And so really consider those. There are solutions here. And, uh, you know, like I mentioned, you know, at the beginning of this video, it's, it's very easy as gym operators, you know, to become isolated on this and you don't have that sounding board. But I can assure you, in most cases, uh, there's going to be a solution there for you. So I, I would encourage investigating that. Um, again, you know, you can hit that uh, free, uh, free link below it's a, uh, for a free strategy session. You know, click that. You know, be happy to talk to you about, you know, how some of this can work. And then for those of you that are looking to, you know, continue on, you want to grow your business, you know, click the button um, on, uh, we call it our, our Mailbox Money program. And it's a, a program we put together with the folks over at Top Trainer, you know, on supplements, whereby they will do all the marketing for you. They'll do the promotion for you, you know, to your members. They'll sell it. They'll collect it. Um, you know, there's no inventory unless you want to have inventory. And so it's a great way to add an additional profit center, you know, to your operation to help you continue to grow your business. Uh, folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. Uh, you know, please, you know, uh, put your, put your questions in the comment section below. Uh, we'll get those answered for you. Uh, we look forward to helping you guys out and really helping you grow your business with, you know, additional information. You know, if you go through our entire channel, you know, you'll see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of short training videos on information that you can use uh, to grow your business. Uh, you'll see some webinars in there as well, and, and a lot of information that can really help you grow and improve. And as you go through this, again, you know, put your comments, put your questions in the comment section below. We're going to get those answered for you, and our focus is to help you grow and develop and build your business. Again, my name is Jim Thomas. We look forward to chatting with you real soon.